Donald Trump and his cronies in the GOP have offered a wide variety of explanations for the impetus behind the investigation by special counsel Robert Mueller into Russian influence on the 2016 election and allegations that the Trump campaign colluded with the Kremlin to steal an election. So far, it's been President Obama's corrupt intentions that caused it. Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, the DNC's determination to smear a president who beat their candidate, a deep state operation united against an outsider in government, and the intelligence community that is somehow comprised of Democratic-led officials all working together against conservative ideology. Never do they mention the fact that those in the intelligence community have seen the actual evidence in this investigation and seem to unilaterally agree that Trump needed to be investigated. In an appearance on ABC's This Week with George Stephanopoulos, Rep. Jim Jordan, R.O., the GOP's resident House showboat, ranted about an FBI cabal who banded together to push out a president elected by Republicans. As the American public awaits the findings of the Mueller investigation, Jordan preempted the pushback by saying that, if Mueller's report is to be released, all of the information around the investigation should be, as well. I'll tell you this morning, if he's going to release all the information, then I want all of it's released. They used that dossier. Took it to a secret court. They didn't tell the court the Clinton campaign paid for the document didn't tell the court a foreigner desperate to stop Trump from being elected wrote the document. If they're going to release everything, release it all. The FISA court isn't secret, but applications to the FISA court are understandably kept under wraps, since tipping off those who are being investigated, and exactly what they're being investigated for is inadvisable. Jordan is also once again lying about information being kept secret from the FISA court in the application for permission to surveil certain members of the Trump campaign, proof that the application did inform the court that the dossier was, in part, funded by the Clinton campaign has already been released. Of course, the lie that the Steele dossier was the impetus behind the investigation has also been disproven, although Trump supporting Republicans like Jordan, as well as political pundits on Fox News, have convinced Trump supporters that this is so, and they still believe it despite that evidence. Jordan is not interested in the release of all of this information in order to expose any FBI cabal that doesn't exist. He, as well as Trump and the rest of the GOP, need distractions. They need as many ways as possible to discredit Mueller's findings just in case they turn out badly for the president. In the meantime, they continue to push misrepresentations and outright lies to do so.